Good morning, good morning. It is bright and early. Oh my goodness. Okay, so a little update. Why I haven't been doing videos, you guys. I had a small procedure. I had a little mass, a little bitty, about the size of a, you know, silver dollar on my hip. So I needed to get that removed because they didn't know what it was. Oh, I'm probably talking really low. They didn't know what it was. So they went. I just woke up and washed my face and brushed my teeth, you guys. <laughs> so they didn't know what it was. So they went and removed it. But they didn't get all of it. So um, recently I had another procedure where I was completely under. So I have been on the IR list, the injury reserve list, and hubby daddy has been picking up the slack, doing everything. But now I am feeling great. I am feeling wonderful. No pain. So I am up spunky this morning, you guys. And yesterday we um, took Joy to Storytime at Barnes & Noble at 11 a.m. And we wanted to stay in that area because they were doing a Lego event at 6 p.m. So we had to figure out what to do with five or six hours. So I went thrifting. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And we went to a lot of other different stores. I went to um, Dollar Tree. Love Dollar Tree. And I needed some spring decor because I changed the decor on my front door and I also do some little decor changes for each season or each um, holiday around my house. So I got some Easter things for my door and I told you guys I'm really, really, really into watches right now. I'm doing this. <laughs> I'm really into watches and I needed a storage for my watches because I have a lot. So... If you're into DIY things, you guys, I'm going to try to make a watch storage solution. <laughs> so if you guys are into that, I am going to post that video once I complete it because I have the thought in mind. I was on Pinterest one night just scrolling, 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 looking at watch storage and like um, bracelet storage. So there are a lot of different options. Um, most of them are display, but I like my storage and stuff hidden. So the one I'm going to do is actually going to be hung up in my closet. Yes. Um, but what I got from Dollar Tree that I want to show you guys, Dollar Tree, I love Dollar Tree. They have the best buyers or best like, um, purchasing people. Look what they have. It's a brush and comb two in one. And you know, this is for your edges. <laughs> what you say? Because you know, everybody do, does the little swoop and stuff. I'm trying to grow it out still, you guys. This side is better, but this side not so much. So, you know, you get this and you lay them little baby hairs down or you use a little comb. I thought this was too genius. OMG, yes. <laughs> but I love Dollar Tree. They always get new products in there that I absolutely love and just for one dollar oh my goodness yes I've been on eBay okay second thing I've been on eBay <laughs> I love pacifiers for the babies especially Jay with his open mouth I love pacifiers so I wanted these particular pacifiers and I thought I purchased them however I didn't really read the description they had the pacifiers I wanted and two other ones. And she said, I'm sorry. The seller said, colors may vary. So I didn't get the color I wanted. I asked if I could exchange them. She left me. She replied in a manner. It wasn't really mean or rude, but I didn't care for it. So I just left her alone. I didn't try to return them. I didn't, we didn't exchange any more words. We didn't communicate anymore. It wasn't an exchange of words. We weren't fussing. So I just went ahead and found another seller that sold the thing, the pacifiers I wanted and I got them. <laughs> so I love these purple ones. Oh my goodness. And these are three to six. I haven't even opened them to see how they will fit in Jay's mouth because the zero to three A-Vents fit perfect in his mouth. I love these A-Vents. I love purple. So now I have one to modify for my girls and one to keep in case I get an open mouth baby girl. Jay doesn't have anything purple. I don't see any purple for boys. Hmm. So I got that. And in this lot was also this one. Oh my goodness, wait, y'all can't see it. So it's yellow. There it is. Yellow with some orange, like starburst on it. 
Okay. Third update, my nails. My nails finally came off. So, my nails. I wanted, 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 wanted these press on nails. I was obsessed for a whole day. <laughs> I have insomnia. So I was just Googling and YouTubing press on nails. I was like, yes, I can do it. I can look cute. I got it actually for videoing purposes because sometimes my nails grow really long, but sometimes want to break or want to chip and I have to cut it. And so this one will be long. I mean, this one will be broke and all the rest of them will be long. And I think it looks really funny on camera. So the nails, these, the thumbs lasted 10 days. And as you can see, there's nothing wrong with my nail at all. Nothing. Well, I just, you know, wash my face and put moisturizer, so it's a little shiny. Okay, so these lasted 10 days. These lasted, um, these two <laughs> lasted 12 days. I'm right-handed. These are the two main fingers. You know, you grab things, you open things, you put pressure on them. These just popped off. And then this one popped off. And then I just had a pinky on. And then all four of these was holding on. They were stuck. So I was tired of looking ratchet. <laughs> so I YouTubed ways to remove press-on nails. And I saw this video, this lady, it was quick, it was easy. She did it, her nails were still intact. It was fabulous. That's not what happened to me. Not even a little bit. So she got warm water and put her shampoo in it. And I don't know what kind of shampoo she used, but she said it had like an oil in it. She's like, you can put any kind of oil in the water. So I just, you know, put them in there. 15 minutes, nothing. 20 minutes, nothing. I say, okay, I can't, I can't deal. So you know, acetone takes off fake nails. So I put a little acetone in the water I already had. Nothing. I said, okay, I can't. So I got a full bowl of 100% acetone. I put my uh, Kiss nails in it. My Kiss nails started to dissolve. I mean, not fall off. No, 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 no. They dissolved like mush. I was like, where they do that at? I said, this is not what the lady did. I went back and watched the video twice. I was like, what is wrong? They just, they were mushy, mushy. And they didn't pop off side to side. Oh my goodness, that's my daughter laughing. That's how Joy laughs. She laughs, screams. That's what she does. So I had to maneuver and finagle and try to get these mushy nails off. It was a hot mess. So no more nails for me. Not anytime soon. Not for me. You may have a different experience with your nails coming off. Mine wasn't good. No, so no more nails. And you know, when I get, I get infatuated with things. I get infatuated and I go out and buy everything that goes with it. So I have the super glue. I have um, the nails. I actually went and did buy some Dollar Tree nails because they're really, really cute. I bought a little baggie. I bought the buffer. I bought the uh, tool you use to press your cuticles back. I bought a set of clippers. I bought some fingernail files. I have a whole little bag full of stuff just for press on nails that I will never use again anytime soon. <laughs> so with that being said, with my nails off, you guys, I am thinking of how I want to do the tutorial for making headbands. Yes, so I think I covered everything. You know I'm sitting right here, you guys. I have a haul. <laughs> so it took me nine minutes to recap what's been going on. And I didn't think I had a busy life. <laughs> but with Hubby Home, I've been the busiest I've ever been in my life. And then with children, you want to socialize them. You want to get them out. With Joy, I've been busier too. We go to events for her. Um, we go to the bookstore and we go to different things for her so here's my haul 
I went to the Salvation Army. And I spent $18 and some change. And I rounded it up to make it $19. So, I believe 10 is for joy and 10 is for the babies, I believe. So, I'm just going to go through them, how I have them. Like I said, I woke up this morning. I already have Joy's clothes in the washing machine waiting on these to put in there. So, I um, put Joy's clothes in the washing machine as well as the babies because I love that dress smell. Oh, my gosh. So, I had to stop before I turned it on. And it's like, oh, let me do the video. <laughs> so, I have this. Just a pink top with some little rhinestones. And this is Jimboree. And I believe it's 5T. It's a size 5. You guys, Jimboree is going out of business. A lot of stores are going out of business. Payless is going out of business. I thought just the store in the area that I frequent was going out of business because it's not popular because it's right next to a mall. But then we went to the mall and it's going out of business. I was like, what? Yeah, stores are going out of business. Victoria's Secret is closing some stores. Gap, it's just a lot. It's just a lot. Amazon and buying online. Shutting brick and mortar stores down, y'all. So this is just a plate top for around the house. I like all the colors. And this one is 99 cents. Ninety-nine cents, and this is Old Navy forty. Just some top to wear around the house, and yesterday, everything with a white tag was half off. So, of course, Daddy approved of this one. This is a faded glory, size four to five, just purple. I love Joy in collar shirts. She looks so <laughs> distinguished and preppy. Like she's already going to school. My little girl is growing up, you guys. So just a pink collar shirt. She has one. This is called Copper Key. She has an Oshkosh. And I like the Oshkosh because it says polos for A's. Because it's like a school uniform type shirt. And I found her one pair of shorts. Little girls actually look very cute in very short shorts. I don't know what it is, but I don't like Joy in like capri length shorts. So I just found her one pair. What is this, twill? It'll be really, really cute on her. And we're doing school time. Um, so I got her this with all the alphabets on it. So maybe when she plays after we put her to bed, she has a nightlight. She can do her alphabets. She enjoys it sometimes. Sometimes school time is a little bit much for her. I'm learning, you guys. I'm learning with my daughter about school time. <laughs> so all this is for the babies. I always find Toy a little Ralph Lauren. She has a lot of pink ones. I want her with some other colors, some purple ones. No stains. I checked the back. <laughs> 99 cents. I found this for Jay. He may have something similar to this, but it was half off of 99 cents, so it's just airplanes. I try to balance it out. Get something for Jay, something for Toy, something for Sky. I try to balance it out. I think Sky has this outfit, so this is actually for Toy for Butterfly Friday. And Toy's theme is butterflies. This was so pretty. And this was the most expensive thing I got, $1.99. That is too pretty. Nice and dainty. For Jay. Little peanut. And then it just has stripes on the back. I can't tell you guys what color that is. It's pretty though. Maybe it's an aqua and gray. Maybe. I can't really tell. I got this for Jay. Little sheeps. 
He loves being in onesies. He doesn't like being hot. He doesn't like socks. He doesn't like hats. If I put on a footed pants or a footed sleeper, he's okay, but he prefers just being in onesies. So he's gonna be really happy when the temperature changes and he can wear just onesies. <laughs> I think this was the first thing I picked up. I like the little bird. That's really cute to me. This is a footed sleeper. This is by Starting Out. I've never seen that brand. Starting Out. I think that's very pretty. I like the little face. I think that's really, really cute. I think this is for Sky. And the last thing I got Wonder Nation. I believe that's the new brand in Walmart. Wonder Nation. I think that's competing with your animals. I'm not really sure. But it was pretty with the little sheep on it too. Thought that was really cute. Maybe the baby's um, JN. I think this is for Toy. Can wear the little sheeps for an uh, outfit of the night. So that is all that I got, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And you guys, I got eight new subscribers last month. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I so, so, so appreciate you guys. I can't say it enough. I really, really appreciate you guys taking the time to choose my channel and to watch my channel. So I have a lot of ideas for the channel. It's that execution. So I'm trying to think of new things that I can do new um, ideas, new series, new topics for Topic Tuesday, and trying to make the channel more than just pictures of the babies. But I, me personally, I really, really, really enjoy seeing just pictures of people's babies on their channel. So that's what I do because I really enjoy it. Um, but I know you guys wanna see more, so I will try to do more. Thank you guys, have a great day. We'll see you next time.